weeks ago, City Council discussed how they would fund this plan, but ultimately pushed the vote until after the holiday. They're expected to vote on the funding this Wednesday, which is huge since we've been hearing from the mayor that once funding is in place, then parts of this plan can begin, such as that widespread ban on camping. Yet Council still has quite a few hoops to jump through. It's been just over a month since Mayor Ted Wheeler unveiled his sweeping plan to tackle homelessness in the Rose City. This is like the fifth plan that Ted Wheeler's had, and they've all failed. If liberals think that this stuff's going to work, they're crazy. The magnitude and the depth of the homeless crisis in our city is nothing short of a humanitarian catastrophe. I have felt your pain before and I feel it now. He proposed a five-part plan, which council passed in early November. Part of the plan includes banning unsanctioned camping over an 18-month period and building six homeless campuses instead. There, the homeless will have access to food, case managers, along with mental health and substance abuse treatment. There will also be on-site security, among other things. There's no issue more critical to Portlanders right now than addressing homelessness. One of the big questions, how will the city pay for it? This package allocates approximately $30 million to the commitments council made on November 3rd when we passed the affordable housing and homelessness resolution package. Mayor Wheeler is proposing several changes to the budget, which council is expected to vote on later this week. The changes include more than $4 million as down payment to build the large camping sites, $750,000, $750,000, $750,000 for private security in the surrounding neighborhoods. Huh, I wonder what those surrounding neighborhoods are. Huh, I bet you they're rich people. Of course they are. Defund the police, but uh, get private security funded by the government. Interesting. Hmm. And more than $12 million to run the sites. These allocations are a down payment on that work, and they demonstrate the city's commitment to clearing the path for accelerated production of affordable housing and better connecting homeless individuals to services, employment, and diversion programs. The city is also planning to use extra money they had set aside, as well as money from the American Rescue Plan. and taking $8 million from the amount they give the county's Joint Office of Homeless Services each year. It's going to take commitment from all of us to do the hard work that lies ahead. Another big unanswered question is where these sites will be located. Now, council agrees that they need to be dispersed throughout the city and near public transit. Yet somehow, they need to be distanced from residential areas, schools, and business districts. Which doesn't exist in the greater Portland area. I don't know what these people are thinking, but... Uh... I hate to go there, but uh, sounds kind of like they just want to move them into like kind of like a undesirable camp somewhere outside the populated areas. Hmm. Ha where have we heard of that before? Uh, yeah, Nazi Germany. Isn't it interesting that it is uh, liberals that are pushing for this shit? Hmm. Now, we talked with Portlanders last week, and many of them said they would welcome one of these large camps in their neighborhood. There's no set date yet on when these locations will be announced. Blair Best, KGW News.